down here. Look at all of these people in cars. This is actually a normal city day. But getting around a place like this is different than some people are used to. Come on, let me show you how it's done. I'm at home. And today, I'm gonna visit my friend Maliha. Maliha lives in another borough here in the city. Oh, what's a borough? A borough is a small urban town inside of the city. New York has five of them. They are Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx, Queens, and Staten Island. These are all the boroughs that make up New York City. I live in the borough of Brooklyn, and Maliha lives in the borough of Manhattan. I'm still trying to figure out how I can meet up with her. Our moms are taking us to a child's friendly nail salon to get mani-pedis. That means that we can get our nails all sparkly, smooth, and shiny. We have a three o'clock appointment. Now, if we have an appointment, that means that we have to be somewhere on time. Living in the city, we have a lot of options for most for transportation. Transportation is a way from getting here to there. You can help me figure out the best way to get to Malijas so we can make our appointment. Now there are about five different modes of transportation. First, there's ferry. A ferry is a boat that takes people short distances across small bodies of water. But there's no boat that stops in front of my house or hers. So I guess the ferry's out. Okay, next idea. Oh look, here's some bikes we can rent right here on the street. Now let's look at that map again. Now Maliha lives about 19 miles from me. That's about 100,320 feet and over a body of water. Sounds exhausting. If I have an appointment at three and it's already 12 o'clock, then I think I have to go a bit faster than this bike will take me. Plus, I'm not that good anyway. Ooh, that looks like it might work. Let's run to the bus. I can take a bus here. This is a New York City bus stop. Oh wait, look at the numbers before the letters. These letters let you know what borough you're in. B is for Brooklyn and Malie Hall is in Manhattan. Oh well, I guess I can't take this bus either. This bus doesn't go to Malie Hall's. Anyways, the city bus can get caught in traffic too. And time is important today. So how can we get to Malie Hall's? Not by ferry, not by bike. The bus is out, so what's left? Looks like the only thing we can take it's a taxi or the train. Both a taxi and a train can get me to Malihas fast so we can make our appointment. So what should I do? Hmm. Let's go see how much a cab can cost. How much does it cost to take a ride from Brooklyn to Harlem? Well, it goes by the meter, so give or take maybe 60 bucks. 60 bucks? I'm not gonna pay 60 bucks. The train is only $2.75 and fast. What do you think? Do you want to take the New York City train? Yeah, me too. Let's go. A train in New York is also called a subway because it travels underground. And to get on the subway, you need a metro car today. Got my metro card. Now I slide my metro card here and it allows me to get into the train station. This is where you wait for the train. And this line tells you when you're too close to the edge of the platform. This is a good time to call Maliha and let her know we're on our way. Hey, patients. Hey, Maliha. I'm on my way to you right now. Really? That's great. When I get to your house, we can get a cab and make our appointment. Okay, see you soon. See you soon.
Are you ready to catch a cab? We're gonna have to hail a cab if you want one to stop. We've learned about the five boroughs, we've learned some transportation words, and we learned how to get around the city. And all by three o'clock. They're ready for us now. Yay! Thank you for helping me find the best mode of transportation to get here. Bye! 